The king I am referring to was Edward King, the despised production manager, who together with his ophidian sidekick, Justin Hyde, ruled that factory floor with a dictatorial rod of iron, creating a Nagasaki-like firestorm of terrorisation, intimidation and discrimination within that steaming gulag of a nut factory in which thousands of peanuts, hazelnuts, and cashews were roasted and salted daily upon the broken backs of the workforce. Too late, Hyde saw the slick that now spewed in front of him and desperately tried to break to avoid it, but instead he lost control of his truck and spun around like some bizarre pale carousel rider. And then with a great bang, the rear of his truck went straight into our steel production line that had still not been bolted to the concrete floor. With an ear-splitting rasp, this production line began scraping and grating across the floor, sparks flying everywhere. And then just as this production line began to buckle and twist and warp, the giant hopper which it supported and which contained thousands and thousands of nuts gave a terrible groan and came crashing to the floor in a great cacophony creating a veritable Hiroshima of twisted aluminium and steel exploding nuts, salt and vegetable oil. Stumpy and I began counting down the yards. 15 yards, he's got no chance, shouted Stumpy. 10 yards, yes he has, he's slowing up, I said. 5, 4, 3, 2. He's done it. He stopped. <laughs> Despairingly, Hyde reached down to try and help King up. But due to a combination of the vegetable oil <laughs> and the contents of the port instead slid on top of him <laughs> and they began grappling and embracing as if in some bizarre insect-like mating ritual. <laughs> the more they struggled, the tighter the embrace became. <laughs>